Nation, what is good? How y'all doing today? We got Smith with your boy in. Um, this song came out, I think, a few few days ago. Um, America. And I love Locksmith. I love how he breaks shit down. Love how he analyzes shit. And I couldn't hold off anymore. I wanted to get this reaction. I have not listened to this, so we're going to do it together. Um, but yeah, we got Locksmith, America. Two minutes and 44 seconds of truth. Let's hit it. I swear to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. Oh, I know he about to go off in this yeah. shit. America is slowly dying. Of a self-inflicted wound from a weapon that we're supplying. The past oh. is hatred that... Damn, I don't even... Damn, I lied. Damn, I saw this on his TikTok. I have heard this. Damn, I thought this was like when he was doing a freestyle. Damn. This ain't a free of it. Damn it. I thought that was a free. Anywho, at least I'm being honest with y'all. I, I just haven't seen the video, but I saw him free. I think he was. Locksmith does a thing where he like drives around and he freestyles with people. Damn, I thought that was. I thought that was like a free. I thought that was complete, something completely different. God damn it. Anywho, let me back it up. We're going to. So I guess I'm re-enjoying it again. I guess this wasn't my first reaction to it. God, anywho, now y'all know. See, keeping it honest. But anywho, back it up. Locksmith, America, let's go. I have heard this, I damn it. I swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth. Sorry for that mishap. I thought this was my first time. Like I said, the video that I saw, Locksmith was in a car. He was driving and rapping. I thought this was completely different than the music video. I thought it was two different things. It's I think he was just doing the song in the car. So um like I said, this turns out this isn't my first reaction to this. Um I have heard this before. In the bars that I did hear, I don't think I heard the whole song. Um the bars that I did hear was straight freaking facts. So let's just get back into this. I apologize, guys. I swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Yeah. America is slowly dying. Of a self-inflicted wound from a weapon that we're supplying. The past seeds of hatred that race in our bloodstream. We can't agree to disagree on the most basic of things. What's a man? What's a woman? What's the shape of the earth? When does human life begin? A conception or during birth? Meanwhile, the projects is more violent, and the Democratic Party stays silent. That's poverty pimping. That's when politics are poverty driven, and they pander the poor communities to get moral and pure. Well, this is just. This is just bars, bro. This is. And he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong or nothing. It's, it's to the point, bro. His, I, I feel bad for Locksmith because the, the, the amount of truth that he just spit in this 40 sec, this it, the video is being suppressed. Y'all know what's going on. Dude, it's getting to the point where people like, people can't even just respectfully disagree on shit anymore. Like, everybody thinks they're right. Everybody thinks opinion is fact or that a belief is fact. Like, you got to understand, and this is no hate on anybody's religion or belief, your belief is not a fact. Okay? It's not a fact. A fact is H2O, H2O is water. Okay? That's a fact. H2O is water. Believing in something it's a belief. It's not fact. Okay? When it comes to religion, I wish that more people would understand that you cannot walk the earth expecting everyone to agree with all of your beliefs. If you're going to move around on a daily basis 
walking the earth, going through life, and expecting everyone to believe in the same, to live and die by the same belief that you have, you are going to be in for a rude awakening. Because not everybody believes in the same things. You just got to, like, that's just life, bro. I don't get what people don't understand about the fundamental of that, like the fundamental mentals of that. All Muslims, like for example, if you want to do this religion-based way, all Muslims do not agree on the same thing. All Christians do not agree on the same thing. All Catholics do not agree on the same thing. No religion is more superior than another religion. I think me and Vito already covered this for y'all. Okay? Me, Vito, and Liz already said this shit. Stop. We need to stop thinking that people's religious beliefs are superior to others. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. Um, so we're covering that. Now, this whole thing about um, life, life begins at conception or, or birth. Okay, me and Vito Liz, we got differences on opinions about um, abortion rights and reproductive rights. Um, I'm not going to speak for Vito. He is not here. He is a separate individual. If you have that question for him, you can ask him later. I'm not going to speak for Liz. She is a separate individual. I do not control their minds. They have their own individual beliefs and thoughts. If you want to know their opinion, when they come back, they'll answer you. I can only speak for Ian. Personally, me. I'm not going to say whether abortion is a good or bad thing. That's not my place to say the shit. However, when it comes to reproductive rights, I'm in a firm belief. I have always believed this, and I will continue to believe this. I do not think any man, woman, another woman or law should be dictating or should be telling a woman what she can and can't do with her body. It's not my place. All I'm all I'm saying is, if a woman has an abortion and terminates her pregnancy, that's not my place. I'm not going to tell another woman what to do with her body. I'm not going to like. It, I just feel like it's not my place. That's her choice. If if Shorty want to do that, you got to be able to live and just, like. I think it's a difficult decision. I'm not saying it's there's nothing easy about it. I think it's a very difficult decision. Um. I think there are many different reasons why women have to have why women choose to determine why women choose to terminate a pregnancy. Um, I think, like I said, it's a decision with a lot of weight. My whole thing is, any woman who decides to have um, an abortion, that's the, that's between them. Whoever they decide to share it with, that information, and the doctor. That's that's just my opinion. I'm not gonna. I don't. That's just my opinion. Um, if you're for those who are religious, who will want to say I'm believing in a sinful action, that's your belief. It's America. You got freedom of religion and thought. That's your belief. You can have that over there. You're not gonna impose it on me. I'm sorry. Um, only thing I have to say is. Any woman who has who who chooses chooses to go through an abortion, that's their choice. It's free will. You just have to be able to live with the decision that you made. If you can live with your decision that you made, bam, sit, then it. I don't know what else to say other than that about it. Um, I'm always open to talking about it. I'm opening to hear different perspectives. You're not going to get me yelling at you. Whether if you would disagree with me, cool, fine, we we cool. I got no hatred or evil towards you. If you if you agree with me, cool. Like I don't care. Like to me, I don't. It's just you're gonna leave it as that. Um, bam, seventeen minutes. Reaction. See what you do, locksmith. But see what you do, locksmith, and bring it up conversations. But that's the what music's supposed to do. So I'm gonna bring it back now. I guess you know my. Appeal on, abor on abortion and reproductive rights. Um, I do also think that if a woman is sexually assaulted and raped, raped, 
if she ch and becomes pregnant from that assault, if the woman chooses to carry the baby to term and give birth and have the that is her choice. That is her choice. That is her individual right. Not all women want to give birth. To, um, want to give birth after being um assaulted. So, if a woman chooses to go through that, that's her business. I used to work in a social work area where one of my clients that happened. I can't give names, but I've seen that happen in working with um people in a social work environment there are some women who um who unfortunately are sexually assaulted and become pregnant as um result of that assault which i don't want that for any woman i don't wish that for any woman i think that's absolutely disgusting um that people feel like they have to force themselves upon others that's gross and you're just a piece of shit for doing it but if a woman chooses to um if a woman chooses to bring the baby to term, okay, and have and give birth to that baby, that is her choice. No other woman or man or law can force that upon a woman. I'm against that. No, there should be no law forcing that upon. That's a very traumatic thing to go through, and not all women want to go through it. Okay? So I'm just respecting a woman's individual choice. I respect men's individual choices for their bodies. I respect women's individual choices for their bodies. I, I sorry, but uh, let me back it up. But the earth, when this human life began at conception or during birth. Uh, meanwhile, the projects is more violent, and the Democratic Party stays silent. That's poverty pimping. That's when politics are poverty driven, and they pander to poor communities to get moral impunity. Capitalism is a black man's hell, but Marxism comes from Europe as well. It's not African. So pick a side to collect from. We run away from one slave master into the arms of the next one. Every two to four years, they. I gotta agree with him on that. Like, I think a lot of people, I think an issue with, I think an issue with parties and politics and all this crap, people are letting it become part of their identity. And to me, there's an issue if you're letting a party become part of who you are if it like you can have like there's nothing wrong with different beliefs but if you're letting a party become part of who you are then that i think that's an issue because at the end of the day both parties are both are supposed to work together they're supposed to put their differences aside and work together to make decisions that benefit the entire country. That is the that is their job. So I don't agree with either or party. I think there's I think there's a whole ball of bullshit that just keeps building up because people keep eating into it. But uh it's just I It, 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 it like if you just if you just look at shit like just because for example just because you're conservative doesn't mean you have to vote republican just because you're black doesn't mean you have to vote democrat um people stigmatize different parties with people with different ethnicities and religions and it's like it's getting chaotic like you got to think are we going to go another generation of this like when is this when are we going to stop this cycle Way from one slave master into the arms of the next one <laughs> and every two to four years they pump fear and we auction off our vote in exchange for some false hope listen yep. it's that blatant enslave us through taxation send money to ukraine and you paying at the gas station because this administration had plans for the inflation natural gas is the actual task what what, what? Why the dude gotta be dancing? Locksmith over here trying to give bars and knowledge, and the whole my man back here. Hey, what, what is this, man? What is this, man? That blatant 
save us through taxation Send money to Ukraine and you paint at the gas station Cause this administration had plans for the inflation Natural gas is the actual task Check the pipeline Now they wanna fight crime We tools in the plot They wasn't talking gun reform back when Boo Boo got shot Drug addiction was not a disease when Nunu had rocks Now they change and readjust words Cause meth is in the suburbs In the night I've always thought that. I've always thought that. About the whole war on drugs. I've always thought that. That, that like, to me, probably, I don't, to me, probably get throttled for saying this, but, like, no one, it wasn't an epidemic when the crack epidemic was happening. No one gave a shit in the 90s. Now that you got the drugs in the suburbs, it's affecting the college kids. Now there's an issue with it. Like it's you gotta you gotta look at them. Even though I don't want wish I feel bad for any family who goes through addiction. Like I I personally never seen someone directly deal with addiction, but I if anybody who can overcome addiction and make life better for themselves and those around them, all power to you. Okay, this is no hate on people who have who are who who battle addiction on a daily basis. Um, all power to you if you can fight if you can fight it and and make your life better and just you know all power to you. So. 90s Biden locked up our people for coke Now he's using taxpayer dollars to buy pipes so niggas can smoke You don't see the contradiction? Or you too busy double tap dancing to pay attention? This is legislative lynching, economic Jim Crow They feed us violence and spirits to keep us spiritually po Is this conspiracy? No, far beyond the music That crime bill defines still how juveniles are prosecuted We prostitute ourselves for the wealthy, it's not healthy Fly across country for protests just to get a selfie Damn! I saw that shit so much on the internet during the, um during the, when the uh during the during the protests of uh in uh for George Floyd. And I saw that shit so much. You saw I I I really saw women in workout clothes standing in front of the like posing in front of the store. Like girl, you don't even know what you're doing. You just want like pe people really nowadays join protests and don't even know what they're protesting. They just see a whole bunch of people. They just see a crowd of people and say, like, oh, I need to go, I need to go join. It's like, do you know what the protest is about? Do you actually are you do you believe in the same thing that the protest is about? Like if if you go and protest, that's fine. Know what you're protesting. Just know what you're protesting. Like know what you're doing. That crime bill defines still how juveniles are prosecuted. We prostitute ourselves for the wealthy, it's not healthy. Fly across country for protests just to get a selfie. Meanwhile, the news outlets exploited and traditional black values get voided. It happens considerably. Attack the fam, crack the validity. Keep the fathers unemployed, destroy black masculinity. Keep the mothers out the house, let the boys run willingly. Then let the streets raise them and haze them to be brazen. It's basically by design. Oh, no. We reside in public housing. Throw us a couple crumbs and we succumb to those surroundings. Perpetuated by educators and pastors. Stockholm syndrome. We fell in love with our own captors. Mass shooters get captured and take it into custody. If black assailants make detainment, truly it's a luxury. Enough to see that there's a power in. There's too much truth being said right now. There's too much truth in this. I know I am not the only one who is tired of the mass shootings. I know I'm not. I don't like to speak for other people, but I know I'm not the only one who's tired. I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of seeing them happen so often. Um, I'm a firm believer in the Second Amendment. Uh, I believe everybody uh, in the United States should have the right to protect themselves. However, don't Tell me there's nothing, absolutely nothing. I, I get you can't fully predict human behavior. I get that. Studying, I've been studying psychology. I'm working, I got a bachelor's in science, a bachelor's in psychology. I'm working to get my master's. I understand that you cannot 
predict the behavior. You can't. You do not know when someone's going to snap. You do not know. However, patterns do happen for a reason. And there are times where you can see warning signs. If you can see warning signs, then something should be happening. Now, like some, some prevention should be happening. Now, I'm not trying to seem like I'm this leftist person or whatever you want if, you, if that's how you need to understand me that's your that's your problem now I like I said I fully believe in the second amendment I fully believe in people having the right to bear arms and defend themselves I get it it's in the constitution it's the second amendment I'm not trying to change that I'm not trying to advocate for change that um however I do like you you can't tell me there's nothing who can that can be done to to be more preventative in measures to to like stop it. Um, like I think there's got to be some kind of acknowledgement of when you have kids who are afraid of going to school. Because, sorry guys, my phone over here ringing and stuff. Because you have kids who are afraid of going to school for life and death situation. Like, I get, I get, th there's so many variables to consider. We got to stop arguing. Um, Sorry guys, I talk with my arms. I get that from my mom. <laughs> um, There's so many variables that happens that we got, like, it's getting to the point we need to like write these variables down, see what's and find out what's working, what's not working. How can we improve? What are we lacking on? What's um what need what is working but could be better? I just know at the end of the day, I know I can't be the only one who is tired of seeing mass shootings. Okay, it's heartbreaking to see it. I don't want to see it. Nobody wants to see it. So like. You got the right to bear arms. I'm not over here advocating, oh, we got to change the Constitution. No, I'm not doing that. No. I'm not trying to... No, it's in the Constitution. It's your right. It's your constitutional right. I'm not trying to change that. But, like, we got to do better in making sure people who are about to snap don't hurt others. Which, I get it. It's hard to, prov it's hard to predict behavior, like I, like I just said. Um... But so, we gotta do something. I don't want to be keep sounding like a broken record, but we gotta do. I feel like something's gotta happen. Something. If black assailants make detainment truly, it's a luxury. Enough to see that there's a power imbalance. Cowards accept the malice and challenge it. Ever was valid? A gesture palette. They say nothing is insurmountable. Cause everybody's sensitive and nobody's accountable. Everybody's sensitive cause nobody's infallible. Never let it disparage you. Welcome to America. Damn. Damn. Monster spill? Damn. Bounty. The quicker picker upper. Damn. Red Bull gives you wings. So, this is another amazing example of the difference between hip hop and rap. This is not hip hop. This is rap. This is the trade rap. Locksmith rap. He be barring people. This is just bar galore. It's a bar mania, bar fest, all bars. Now, a whole bunch of people are gonna disagree with the man said in the in 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 the in, in the in the verses. Everybody gonna disagree with this. Everybody gonna be some people gonna agree with everything, some people gonna disagree, and then other people gonna be half and half. It's gonna happen. This is the type of music. That is supposed to spark conversation. A lot of y'all are afraid to talk about shit. And it's like grow up. Grow up. We even got some representatives. Who are afraid to talk about shit. You can't be a representative. Okay. Or a person of authority. Or a person of position of power. And afraid to address certain social issues. You can't. That's part of your job. You can't be afraid. Um, And you can't be uncomfortable. You can't like, be uncomfortable to talk about. 
If you're uncomfortable talking about something, that means you're not knowledgeable enough about it and you need to learn more. It's not it's not a sin. It's not un-American to learn shit. Just open your minds, people. Open your minds. Now, I already know um, y'all are going to be seeing 33 minutes in for a nice video for you. Um, I already know y'all are going to hate me. A lot of y'all are going to hate me for the, the differences in political opinion. A lot of y'all are going to hate me for what I said about um, abortion and reproductive rights. If if that's the way you got to understand me, then I can't control that. That's on you. I'm just giving you my opinion. Um, I do not consider my opinion fact whatsoever. I understand some people are against abortion. I understand, I understand that for religious um, reasons. If that's so, that is your business. My opinion is your your religious belief cannot interfere with a, with what another person is doing with their individual life. That's all I'm saying. I'll leave it at that. Um, I support the individual rights of all men and women. I don't think law should be controlling or dictating what anybody does. Um. I am all for free will, freedom of choice, uh, privacy, and I 100% respect individuality. Um, there was so much to... The, he, the way Locksmith constructed this, there was so much in it. Um, I could go on and on for hours. I could have discussions about stuff for hours. Um, yeah, but like... We got to be able to have conversations, y'all. It's getting to the point where agreeing and disagreeing is a whole different number, is a whole different part of a conversation. It's getting to a point where people are being are afraid or uncomfortable to have certain conversations. Social issues are kind of like leaking faucets. Okay, if you don't address the leaking faucet or the leaking pipe, eventually. The shit's going to bust, and then you're going to have a flood, and then a bigger problem to deal with. Okay? You got to talk about stuff in order for it to get better. Okay? You got to acknowledge things in order to be able to fix them. If you can't acknowledge the problem, you can't develop a solution for it. So, um, in my opinion, I'm tired of the unnecessary racism. I know people got screwed up thoughts. Um, I do firmly believe you. if somebody says something discriminatory, you should be able to call them out on their bullshit. I do not agree with any racism. I think racism and supremacy is dumb as shit. Um, Y'all care about skin color way too goddamn much. Um, uh, I don't care about your sexuality. I don't care about your sexual orientation. I don't care about your religious views with all due respect. You have the right to believe in what you want to believe in. You have the right to live your life the way you want to live it. Um, let children express themselves. Um, since we're going to talk about social issues in America, let children express themselves. Um, do not victimize kids. Do not put fear into them. Kids need to learn healthy ways to express themselves, or trust me, it screws them up later in life. If a kid comes to you with something, they are looking for guidance. Please do not force shit upon them. I don't like to tell anybody how to raise their children. That is a family matter to handle. Um, but yeah, leave kids alone. Let them be innocent. Let them let them just grow up and understand things. Help them out when needed. I was blessed to have. Uh, with a great family, a mother and father who did not force religion. They did not force religion on me. They were. They did not force certain beliefs on me. They just let me become aware of different things. Don't get me wrong. I had different um, viewpoints about um, race relations, ethnicity, the LGBT community, and all the and religion. I had different beliefs when I was seventeen. Okay, I'm twenty seven now. That's a ten year change. Okay. You learn over time. If you're not learning, you're not evolving, and then you're just going to be the angry person who's mad because the world's changing. Whatever. Like, 
You gotta you gotta evolve or you're gonna get left behind. And, that, and, and evolve does not mean conform. Evolve just means learn how to be a better person than you were the day before. Um so yeah, here at Blight Media, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, male, female, gay, straight, trans, religious, non-religious, does not matter. All people are welcome on this platform. We welcome all people um, with different uh, opinions, beliefs. If we disagree. We respectfully disagree. Let's talk about it. But with that being said, um, guys, you've probably heard me rant enough. Um, this is the type. This this is the type of rap that made me fall in love with the culture. Addressing shit. I hate when people say rap's not supposed to be political. It's always been that way. The 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 th the great thing about hip hop is it allows people. It's the most free culture. It it, it allows people to have differences in opinion, talk about things, talk about the perception, and. It don't matter if you're black, white, gay, straight, male, or female. There's a place for you in hip-hop. There is. There's something for you in hip-hop. It's a culture that is open to everyone. Making the culture a black and white thing. Um, Locksmith over here messed me up for the day. Um, Like I said, I thought I had never heard this. I heard it on his, I think it's, yeah, I heard it on his TikTok and on Social media. I thought it was a whole completely different, <laughs> different two different things, but it wasn't. So, um, yeah, I guess technically it's my second reaction to it, second time doing it. But um, I don't want to lie to y'all. I don't. I'm being honest with y'all. Let me know what you agree with and disagree with me in the comments. You can not like me for my views. It's okay. Um, but uh, I respect your difference of opinion, and I respect uh, I respect your difference of opinion and acknowledge it. With that being said, guys, uh, let's just do better. Talk to each other. You never know what you might learn. Like, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to do. Please give this a share. Um, it does help the channel out, and uh, we thank you for all your support. Um, follow us on all our platforms. Follow us on all our social medias. And, um, yeah, um, get us, get over at Locals, follow us up at Locals, follow us on there. Um, and I'll say it one more time for those who didn't hear it in the back. Okay. We covered a lot in this. We covered abortion, racism, gun violence, mass shootings, whatever. Um, you know, you heard my opinions on it. Um, I'm ready to hear yours, whether you think I'm sinning or whatever, or un-American. If that's your opinion of me, that's your problem. Uh, that's how I, I, don't even, I don't even say that's your problem. That's just how you perceive things, and I can't control that. Uh, but with that being said, y'all, um, I'll wait. To, I'll, I'm excited to see what um, backlash, I, what responses I get from you. Um, but yeah, I respect everyone's differences. But uh, I'll stop sounding like a broken record. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I already, I already covered locals for y'all. I already covered y'all. Can blow us up at any social media and follow us. I already covered all that. So, But I'll say it again. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. You'll know where we're at. Appreciate all the support. You'll see me in the next one. Uh, the fam will be back soon. And uh, take care, everyone. Peace.